Hi everyone, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using um, Butterfly Gala. I haven't used it for a while, so I thought I'd use it. And I'm going to be using that butterfly. And the two coloured ones, which I haven't got out. Mainly because I haven't got a block for them. So I shall keep that to one side. Yeah, just swap the blocks around. I'm also going to be using Beauty Abound for the two dots and the splatters. You see that? And Timeless Tulips just for happy birthday. The cardstock I'm using, I have got a uh, soft sea foam card base of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighths, scored at 5 and 7 eighths, folded in half and burnished. I have a black piece of card at, this is basic black at, Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of DSP. Now this is that way. Um, Forever greenery in the new catalogue. I actually got some. And this is five and three eighths by three and five. No, it's not. It's five and a half by three and three quarters. I also have a piece of white at four and three eighths by two and five eighths no two and three quarters so that's four and I just said it and all four and three eighths by two and three quarters so a black piece will be four and a half by two and seven eighths and that will sit on top like which will sit on the front. I also have a scrap of white for the butterfly. So, to get started, we will have that white piece. Don't need them for now. That's better. I'm going to see what I'm doing now. Um. Right, to get started, we're going to do a bit of a background using the... No, we won't. We'll do the butterfly first. So, with our butterfly image, Memento Black Ink. We'll ink up our butterfly. And... Stamp it down. Like that. Don't need that no more. Clean my stamp off. Right, now then. I've got the infills, and what I did with this is I got some daffodil to light. Daffodil Delight and some pear pizzazz. Now, what I did was dipped it in the Daffodil Delight, then got my cloth and just cleaned off the edge. I don't want it completely straight. Then I dip the edges in the pear pizzazz. Not so it's completely straight. And then I filled in the 
butterfly and hopefully I got it in. I did. And I did the exact same bit at the bottom. Covered it in daffodil delight without the fluff. Don't know where that come from. And then just cleaned off the edges. some papers around the edge and then filled it in right as you can see I missed it there so all I did was got my blender pen and dragged the ink And just filled it in. And you can't tell now. Right. Clean that off. And then a little bit of yellow, dab dab light, and just colouring where I might have missed. There you are. Just cleaning my pen off at the side. That is how I done the butterfly. And then I punched it out with the duo butterfly punch. I did forget to do was the body of the butterfly. Don't know why, it's just something I always seem to forget on butterflies. I think it's because you expect the bodies to be there and just stump that. Down like that. Then let me just get it. I forgot something. I covered the butterfly in glossy accent. I decanted my glossy accent into one of these little bottles and I'm glad I did because I found it so much better to control it. I can put as much on as I want or as little. And I covered the whole thing in glossy accent. Only thing doing this, I now have to leave this butterfly 24 hours. But true, true Blue Peter fashion, I have already got one to make today's card. Right, 
Right now, what I'm doing is just looking for little air bubbles and then you just do it so it's all smooth. That's one that. And here's the one I made earlier. I don't think you'll be able to tell if it's shiny or not. Oh yeah. So that's how I made my shiny butterfly. So I'll put that to one side and it will dry off and I can use that on another card. Right, for this we've got right, peppers that's again. I think I use that. Soft sea foam and pretty peacock. She says, but you can't open it. And with our bubbles. I just Put three of them in three of them in that was peppers as and soft sea foam and I've got pretty peacock where I'm going to add one there these are dark. I don't know why they're dark. And I'm just going to add some soft sea foam ones just round the outside. Like that. Oh. I need that out. Right, it's the old olive and the splatter dots. I'm just going to place some splatter dots on it, just like that, just like that. And that's our background on our butterfly will then sit on there like that. Right now then with Pretty peacock. I am going to stamp. Happy birthday. Hmm. We'll put that that way. I'm going to stamp it up there this time. And that is our stamping done. What I think I did last time, I think I stamped off. And this time I haven't. But I actually quite like it. I 
Yeah, I do quite like that. So, let's stick this all together. Mm, not with that. Mind you, glossy accent, all it is is a glue. Paper's lovely. this on the card base I'm going to put the this on dimensionals. And we're going to place that right in the middle. Probably straight. And a butterfly is going to go on there. But what I did to keep the wings up, I am going to put in A mini dimensional. Near the fold of the wing. One on each wing, so that's four. Take the backings off. Some glue on the body. And hold the body down. So it sticks. And then press the wings down. That way your wings stay up a bit. Can you see that they're not flat on the flat on the ground, flat on the card? Now all we need is some gems. I'm not putting gems on the butterfly. Well, 
I'm doing is just putting three gems around. Like that. And there's my card. Oh, you can tell the difference. I did one light and one dark. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.